Hello guys, and welcome back to yet another video again. If you are a new player in Call of Duty Mobile, then you need to know the basic settings in it. So you will get confused when you open your basic tab for Battle Royale, because it has tons of settings which every one of you want to know. So in this video, I will show you. All basic settings fully explained for Battle Royale in Call of Duty Mobile. So let's get started. So go to settings and click on basic. Now let's discuss these settings one by one. First one is aim assist. Aim assist basically snap your crosshair on target and help you in aiming. So when you turn the setting to on then your crosshair aim will automatically turns towards target. And if you new in COD mobile, then turn the setting to on to get better aim. Next one is Joystick Auto Sprint. So first let's turn this setting to off. Now when you sprint then your joystick sprint will not appear and you have to manually sprint in the game. Now let's turn it on. After this when you sprint, Auto Sprint option will appear on joystick. So make this button near your joystick. So when you sprint, you will continue sprinting till you press back in joystick. This auto sprint will help you out in close fights and will fix crouch problem in the game. Next is right fire button for camera rotation. So when you turn the setting to on, then you can rotate camera with your right fire button. Next one is fixed virtual joystick display position. So first let's turn this setting to off. So after this, your joystick will appear anywhere you touch on screen and this will help you out in gaming. And when you turn the setting to on, then joystick position will locked on position where you set it, and will not appear anywhere you touch, so always make the setting to off. Next one is release right fire button of shotgun to hip fire. So if you are shotgun player, and in hip fire when you turn the setting to on, then you will get two option. One street one is to tap fire button to shoot. Second hold fire button and then rotate and release fire button to fire. Next one is continuous grenade throw. So first let's turn this setting to off. Now when you throw grenade or smoke grenade, then after one throw your gun option will appear, and you have to manually throw the grenades again. But when you turn this setting to on, then when you throw grenade, then another grenade will be in your hand automatically without selecting grenade again, so you can throw grenade continuously in the game. Next one is Perspective Teammates. Before discussing the setting, if you are new player, then you always face lag and ping problem in the game. To win every battle royale, you need a constant ping and internet speed. So to fix all kind of network errors and ping problem, I got solution for it. So check link in the description to install this app. This Gear Up Booster app is best solution to high ping and lag fix because it gives you complete gaming freedom and you can play any game on any server. And this app is designed for battery efficiency and doesn't take any additional mobile data. And now it has a most advanced dual assurance mode. This new mode uses Wi-Fi and mobile data to reduce game latency and disconnections. When boosting, the system will automatically select the best connection because it connects Wi-Fi and mobile data together. So select Call of Duty Mobile, and you have multiple server. So select Middle East server and boost. This will give you low ping, and makes your shotgun accuracy more perfect. Now let's discuss perspective teammate setting. When you turn the setting to on, then you will see your teammates around you clearly, even through walls. 
Next setting is slide hint. Well, this is useless setting, but I will explain it. When you turn this setting to on, then slide hint will appear when you sprint and give you hint you can slide. So I recommend you to turn this off and slide manually. Next one is weapon inspection. So turn this setting to on to inspect weapon. And sorry I missed the quick weapon switch, so when you turn this setting to on, then weapon switch speed becomes fast. Next is smart med recommendation, so when you turn this setting to on, then kinetic energy armor will be recommended first for heal. Next setting is jump button supports jump and climb. So turn this to off, you will automatically jump and climb obstacles in the game. Next setting is synchronize aim FOV to scope zoom. This is the most important setting, so watch it and learn it carefully. This is the most important setting for battle royale players who use aim down sight. So this setting will give you wide angle view every time when you open scope. So for better understanding it, let's turn it off. Now, when you open scope, then you will get short angle view around you, and in close combat, you will not see enemies clear. So now let's make this setting to on. Now, when you open scope, you will get wide angle view, and this will help you spot enemies around you in close fights and give you an advantage. Next setting is transparentize player setting. So this is also very important one. Sometime when you try to aim in close combat, your character will block your sight. So in order to fix this issue, turn on this setting in basic. This setting will make your character transparent while aim, and you can use shotgun aim easily. Next one is secondary fire mode. So if your gun has a launcher then use this setting so it's not used much so skip it. Next one is mistouch prevention mode, so when you turn this setting to on, it will prevent notification tab open or any other tab open in the game. Next is bullet trail effect, so when you turn the setting to on, then it will shows bullets trail hitting on walls. Next setting is quick run from prone, so it's also very important one. So first let's make this setting to off. Now, when you prone and you try to get up and hit sprint button, then you will not get up until you press crouch button, so this will slow you down in the game. Now, when you turn this setting to on, then when you prone and hit sprint button, then you will quickly get up, so this will make your movement fast in the game. Next one is fixed right, fire button, so when you turn it to fix, then fire button will be fixed where you placed it, and when you turn it on, then, it will appear on your left screen controls also. Turn this setting to fixed always. Next one is left joystick mode. So already discuss it, so don't fix it, and turn on make left screen control. Next is auto door open setting, so turn this setting to on, so in battle royale, when you get near to door, it will open automatically. Next is hide prone button, so for better understanding it, first let's make this setting to on. So when you turn on this setting, then to get prone, you have to hold crouch button in the game. But when you turn the setting to off, then prone button will appear on screen, and you can adjust its size and position anywhere on screen, so for better gameplay, always use this prone button in the game. 
Next setting is aim button for rotation, so first let's make it off. Now, when you hold aim button and try to move, then it will be fixed and your camera will not move with it. Now, it's make this setting to on, and after this when you hold and rotate aim button, then your camera will move with it. Next one is fast scope switch, so if you have multiple scope in the bag, then turn the setting to on, but it's useless setting, so turn it off. Next one is split throw button, so when you turn it on, then grenade throw menu will appear, and selection become easy. Next setting is shotgun, hit reminder. In basic, there is setting shotgun hit reminder, so when you turn it on, the setting actually tells which part of the enemy bullets are hitting, so always turn the setting on which will help to know your bullets are connected or not connected with enemy. Next setting is correct camera from jump window, so turn this setting to on, after this in battle royale when you jump out of window, then camera will not block you sight in the game. Next setting is auto expand wingsuit, so turn this setting to on, and when you jump from height your wingsuit will automatically open in the game. Next one is auto use, so turn it on, to use anything automatically. Next setting is very important. So enemy tactical scope flash means, when you turn the setting to on, then enemy is using sniper at distance, you will get flash and get its position in the game. Next is weapon inspection while sprinting. So turn the setting to on and you can check weapon inspection while sprinting. Next one is execution setting. So when you tap near enemy, execution animation will appear in the game. Next setting is movable joystick. So there are three options for it. So let's discuss each option one by one. So in default option, your joystick will not fixed and will appear anywhere you touch. And in follow option, when you swipe on screen, your joystick button will follow your movement. And in locked mode, your joystick will be fixed to one position, as I already explained above. So I will recommend you to use default option to get fast movement and reactions in the game. Next one is parachute style, so select slide to choose direction for it. The last one is one tap, aim. In basic, there is new setting one tap aim, so turn it on to get fast reaction in the game. Basically, this setting means when you hit fire button, then the gun starts firing before before scope opening animation, so look closely to understand it. So always turn the setting to on to get fast reaction during close fights without waiting scope opening animation. Hope so. This video will help you out in completely understanding all basic settings for Battle Royale and Call of Duty Mobile, so if you have any questions and suggestions, then comment me below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel, and hit bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.